Hi, welcome back to my Alan Bradley PLC Test Bench. Today I'm going to do a quick video on how to use the 1784 CF64 compact memory flash card, and this is the industrial compact flash made by Alan Bradley with an expensive label, in either an L60 Series A, which and your compact flash goes into the bottom on the Series A, or a Series B, and they're both exactly the same with the process when you get down to it. The Series B goes into the front and pins in towards the, the processor. So we'll just get swung around here um, in a minute. Like these are used in case you have power outages or batteries that die. It will auto if you set it up correctly, it will automatically reload a missing program and restart the processor without you having to be there. Um, it helps because mainly what happens with these PLCs is that the batteries die and no one takes notice of it until there's a power outage or a power bump which causes things to shut down and restart. And as soon as the power goes out, if you don't have a backup battery in them, they immediately clear the memory. So this is one way around it, actually the best way around it. So we'll get swung, swung around here, get set up, uh, we'll go through the whole thing and be back in a half a minute. Okay, so here's how we uh, do this. Now this is Series B and we'll, we're going to be doing the uh, full test with the Series A as I have a customer with the Series A that wants to see how this is done. So here's our CF card and there's a little locking lever there and it goes in with the CF um, nameplate towards this this side and you push it in, it only goes in the one way, it locks in and you're done. So on the Series A it's slightly, and to get it out there's a little lever at the bottom here. Um, some of you may with older laptops will remember the old PCMI 8 cards which is the same thing. Series 8 processor in this particular case it's a 63 and again in this case your card only goes in one way and the, the uh, label goes to this side you slide it in and then you bring your latching lever over to keep it tight. So this uh, particular card has a, a program on it. We'll just grab this one here. I don't know what's on this card, which is usually what happens. Um, there's a spot on there to you can put a little label. So there we go. It's in there, ready to go. We'll plug it in. Now, to begin with, I'm going to have the processor in the program mode. Slide it in. Power it up. And we will go over to the screen. And, okay. So, got a really extensive program in there. The uh, inputs on card on the input card the outputs follow the inputs straightforward simple fast simple test so th this is our current running program if and this is offline because power was off go online and we will get our standard error code that there's no project loaded in the controller. Our offline project is version 19 test, which is what we want. And our non-volatile memory is our CF card. Now there is, we can see it, and there's no name, and there's nothing in the uh, CF card, which is really nice. So we've got a blank card to work with. So we close that. We have to download 
the existing project which is connected download and again we're in program mode as you can see here in the upper left hand side because our key switch is in program if we go into uh, the processor tab non into the memory okay the first thing that we want to do is down here on this side inhibit automatic firmware update um, you want to keep your firmware at the same level it's all it's at right now because that's what you're working with so we go load store and here is our controller on this side here is our memory card on this side three things a couple of things you want to set first first off load image on power up is what we want to do here or in the it gives you the option of on corrupt memory or user initiated we're going to do on power up and the load mode will be run we don't want to be in program we want to just get back up and running and pumping the water or whatever we're doing and again down here firmware is disabled and we tell it to store so this takes a minute or so um, all communications to stop temporary, temporarily close the connections to the I.O. modules and removing the card while it's trying to do it will corrupt the stored, stored image. Well, we, a little hard to do that on the A series for sure. Continue, yes. And it will be in progress, could take up to three minutes depending on the size of your program. And it kicks you offline. I don't, I'm not sure if you can see that up in the corner here. So we hit OK. Now, because this is only a one-line program and a small processor, let us go, we'll close this screen here, okay, and tell it to go back online. And the next step is correlation is required between the changes in the processor and what you've got here on screen. And that is because we have enabled the CF card. Save the project, yes, of course, and we're back online. So, and you can see it's a really big program, and I'll turn the key switch to remote program to run, back to remote program. And the outputs follow the inputs as you Turn that a little bit, as you can see. So, let's take our uh, processor, power it down like there is a power outage. Now, as it said before, our key switch is in the remote position and that is so that the processor can control it let's get it up here at the right spot yeah, almost trying something new with my uh, camera so turn it off so there's no battery in there so we know that in normal circumstances that would come back when the power comes back on there would be no program in there but because we have the CF card in the settings as shown earlier it starts up in run mode right away uh, we've got the flashing light just because of the uh, DHRIO card I haven't got that set up properly so there it is running so we'll turn on a couple of inputs we are offline because we went offline can't communicate okay go online 
we see immediately that we're online we see that our IO is following as it should be that's as easy as it is to set up a CF card in a and make it come back up and run without a battery or a power fault every time hopefully that's fast simple and easy um, any questions leave them in the comments below uh, thank you very much for coming by uh, subscribe if you'd like uh, ring the bell if you'd like and uh, have a great week thank you very much